Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and you guys have been very active in helping me out with this series. We now have backstories for all three of the new characters and of course if anyone else watching does want to join the writing staff so as it were, you can let me know in the comment section or join the Discord and of course you can take your hand at writing some characters. But yes, we do have backstories for all three of the new people as well as some diary entries to read throughout the episode for some of the characters that we we already had so we can start this off with our antiquarian now this is a class that is very very good but also very fragile so i don't think we'll be taking her out just yet because as you can see only 17 hp but this character allows you to get a lot more money per run it increases your stack limit and also allows you to find certain treasures that you can sell for extra money so very very nice um but this is uh v vira Viara, I don't know exactly how to pronounce the name, but um, this is this is this character, and this one was written by um, Doctor Sandwich Junkie, um, and this is our antiquarian. Wherever the glint of gold could be found, a young Viara could be found not far from it. Dangerous caves, forbidden tombs, high mountain peaks, none were too daunting for her in her prime, but she's not in her prime anymore and far from it. After her last expedition ended in such a catastrophe, her whole team died to a rogue trap and herself was wounded and crippled and the prize stolen by a rival, the sneering face of which haunts her dreams. This affinity for all things that glitter was her motivation for taking the dirty grinning man up on his offer for adventure and why she boarded that death trap of a carriage heading to the accursed manor. One last expedition, she muttered to herself as she steps out into the muddy street of the hamlet. Very good backstory there. I'm really looking forward to using this class, but as I said, we do need to maybe wait until we have a slightly better team ready. Also, I really want to level up and uh, unlock this skill, because this skill is very important for this character. Uh, adding to dodge is going to be hugely important. Next, we have uh, Titania, which is our Vestal, and honestly, I'm so... So happy we managed to get a Vestal because goddamn, this would have been a hard series if we were waiting a while for this class. This is going to be our main healer, at least for a little bit here. Um, so let's take a little look at the backstory for this one. This character was written by Thanatos804. So um, Titania rests her head on the wall. Another had fallen under her watch. Titania tried to save them. She tried to save them all. How could she? She was no doctor. She simply prayed the light above uh, that the light above would heal them. It worked sometimes, but failed almost as much. Titania tried uh, no longer to remember a name. The names uh, the, the names made the pain worse. The drink made it better. Her first drink was given to her by a traveller as she failed to save a child. She no longer remembered that child's name. Just the pained face as they were lost. She still remembers being driven out of the sisterhood after that bottle in hand maybe the light above, above would save her uh, would save more of them if she hadn't forgotten her drink but then the pain would grow she only knew how to hold it off maybe if she did better saved more the light would give her some way to make the pain go away for now all she could do was hide the flask as she turned to the group she was traveling with today she noted them uh, by the things they wore and the color of the hair no names did she remind them um or did she remind herself? A question for another time. For she did not uh, not have enough drink to wash away their names if she failed again. Another beautiful story. And yeah, I'm, I'm really liking these rich backstories that we can really build on top of. And then uh, Chaos here. I believe it's Chaos. Um, this is Athrael. Now this guy, for one, is a heavy drinker. And for two, he's a meaty man. He, he is going to hit very hard he's he's quite the savage uh but a very 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 interesting character indeed um and this guy has a backstory written by Rokerin. the barmaid looked with disgust at the odious mass guzzling wine and meat at a table he barely fit at she rolled her eyes how long must we serve him she asked the barkeep he eyed her you don't know who that is do you she shook her head he sighed and set the mug down. He's known as Caius, the Butcher, a pit fighter from a far land. Make no mistake, he isn't a glory fighter. 
more similar to a rabid beast loose from the chain. When someone wins to um to a man managed, sorry, uh, when someone wins, a man managed to best him, um and and spare him. Cassius didn't share that sentiment. The boo from his cheap shot turned to gasps. The silent um the silence, except for the crushing of burn under his fists. After that, he just left. Some say he was tired of being chained. Others that he was told he was invincible, but was humbled and was looking for answers. Who knows? But why is he here? He looked up again. While well, the air has been hiring mercenaries, and apparently he answered the call. Look, he only does three things. Eat, sleep, and kill. I'd prefer the first two over the third in town, wouldn't you? Their quiet chat was interrupted by a booming voice as the brute looked to them, wine dribbling from the edge of his, edges of his mouth. More wine. And that's his story there. I absolutely love that. By the way, I apologize if I stumble off my words and butcher some of these stories. I am unfortunately slightly dyslexic. It is a thing, but this is a nice challenge for me. I like reading these. But anyways, let's go and embark on our first journey here um, this episode. We're of course going to be going into the ruins again. We'll see what's available here. Um, so we got some short adventures. These are level two, though. I don't really want to go for level two adventures right now. We can go with um, this here, which is complete 100% of room battles. Or we can go with this. Um, trap disarm, scouting chance, and minus speed. That's actually really, really nice. Uh, the trapper's kit there. And we don't have that class yet, but I think that's going to be really good. I think we'll take the Vestal here. Um, Titania. Um, I think we'll take um, Chaos here. As our frontliner, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. Of course, he does do bleed, and he has kind of low accuracy base. Um, but he does have that increased critical chance, and he does have that ability to stun. It is a random target, and it does shuffle them. But I think this should be pretty decent. Um, and also, he can use this for an extra uh, buff to his damage. It would be nice to have Gore here uh, as well. But th this will definitely do for us. Um, then, who else shall we bring along with us? I think we'll bring along Renault in the second line here. He's going to be able to do some good damage. And then we can either bring Dismus or Rose. Dismus probably can do a bit more damage. Let's have a look. Um, at the quirks that we got going on here. Easily stressed out in wide open areas. 20% stress. Okay, that's not amazing. Giant Slayer's good. That's decent. Okay, we'll probably take Dismus here because he's got slightly better quirks. And then let's um, trinket people up. So for one, we have a Thrall only trinket, which is 10% scouting, which I, I absolutely love. Um, and to negate this, I'm going to give him his 10% health back. Um, actually, we could go with dodge in position one. He doesn't have great speed anyways. Yeah, let's go with a slight, a slight bit of dodge. It's not much, but it's something. Um, maybe we'll go with the health and the Vestal here. Uh, and the minus move skill. Nah, in, in fact... Yeah, actually, I'll, ta I'll take this just in case. But otherwise, I think I'm going to keep everything as it is. We also have a trinket for the Hexer here that we haven't unlocked yet. But we're going to jump out into the ruins here. Let's grab some provisions. This is only a short mission, so we'll just... Actually, this is a medium mission. This is our first medium. Okay. Um, we need, need to look at our camp skills real quick. Um, just see if we have a prevent nighttime ambush. Okay, we do have a prevent nighttime ambush. That's good. Um, and then we're going to grab... Into the ruins here, we're going to grab... 20 food, 3 shovels, 1 of those, 1 of those, 2 of those, 3 of those, 3 of those, um, and we will take 12 torches. I've got this little thing here that tells me the average that you need for most areas, so that should help out nicely. Um... You're good to heal everyone from back there. Nice one. Okay, so we got a good bit of healing here. Uh, Crusader, unfortunately, doesn't have his healing skill enabled yet. That's uh, a little ways off, but we can try and get that going later down the line. We'll probably end up using Grape Shot and Pistol Shot for the most part here. Uh, but let's embark on our journey here. Um, move on in. And let's read some of the diary entries that we have available here. So, just a simple one from Dismas here. Seems the job's begun. Don't know what the person who hired me wants from this place, but the pay is good, so I don't really care. And we also have a very mysterious diary page here that is unnamed. 
I expected him to chicken out a lot faster. I guess he was serious about the whole, nothing is worse thing. Maybe he really is one of the four chosen ones, and not just an annoying coincidence. We don't really know anything about that, but that is, that is interesting. We also have a diary entry from uh, the Crusader and our, um, our occultist, um, Arashad. But we'll get to those while we're camping. The fiends must be driven back. So that scouting now chance already to be proving to be very, very useful. Noble line. Hopefully we don't get too much um, too much things that are going to move around. These guys are level zero, so they come in with a bit more stress. Well, let's just jump straight in. And already you get a modded enemy here. But we do get the surprise, which is fantastic. Um, we're going to go straight for you. We want to try and get a kill on you straight away. Um... Let's let, yeah, even if we can't kill you, let's stun you. Really? 10% chance to resist and you resisted that stun? What's the stun chance here? Wow, resisted on a 10% chance. Lovely. This is going to random target. That was perfect. Um, let's go for a, a hit on you. Unfortunate dodge there, but Renault, it's okay. He can miss sometimes upon entering. Chaos here, taking the first hit of damage, and he's marked. He is a brute. He is an absolute huge hulking mess, so he can take a few hits. Do not worry about that. Um, he can certainly do what needs to be done, and that crit from Titania is amazing. Um, let's go for the back line here, because he's going to be problematic for everyone else. And that dead weight is going to maybe stun us. Oh, lucky, lucky. No stun. Quarrel here. Oh, another dodge. Wow, Ronaldo's doing really good here. The Iron Maiden. It does unfortunately bleed us and stack on that stress, but that's okay. And I think we can maybe finish you off. Now remember, this guy has low accuracy, but when, you, when we hit, we hit hard. We're going to be just constantly healing, um, <laughs> healing chaos here, I think. Right. Let's go for you. Unfortunate dodge there. Unf but something just to note is when we're low level like this, we are going to be missing a lot. Because you just have lower accuracy when you're uh, lower level. It, it's just a thing that happens. Um, I'm going to try this and see if we can get a stun out here. There you go. Why not? It allows us to potentially get an extra round worth of healing in. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do exactly that. We can stall here by hitting a body. Um, and that's only a, a heal for two. It does reduce some stress, though. And then we can go like that. It's very nice to have that self-heal. And then he misses his turn here. It comes back to us. Um, let's go for a party heal here. And then we finish you off. It's really nice to be able to do that. And we get some extra food and stuff there as well. That's nice. We can go for a holy water here. Unfortunately this artistic we still need to remove finding inspiration in the strangest of places essentially means he'll just touch anything he wants whenever he wants more scouting yet again that's fantastic for the trap um unfortunately our most stressed hero has like no trap disarm and our least stressed hero has the most so that's a little unfortunate there but sometimes that happens we're clearing out 100 percent of room battles here so we don't have any need to go up there which is quite nice although there is some curious that we might want to check out this is good here. We have uh, some stress relief. Um, because this guy has the least stress, I'm going to fight this guy. So this bat is another new enemy. Uh, when you wake it up, it reposts with stress. It also receives less damage when asleep. But receiving that stress is fine for us because we have... Um, let's go for a stun on it, actually. Because we have the ability to take it. Whereas um, Chaos here, I would not like him to take on extra stress. Okay. Try and take out. Oh, we can get that guy in one hit if we're lucky, but we haven't been. But god damn, Renault with the dodges. It's insane. Let's go for a go for a kill there, but unfortunately we got a miss. Not what we want. Echo locate. I think that's stress. Yeah, that's quite a lot of stress. Luckily, like I said, we got this to... I think that's going to relieve 30. So that'll be pretty nice to get rid of, but it's still not really enough. We can't get a kill here, unfortunately. We could do zero to one damage. I think we ought to just do that instead. The, light. the resists here are really unfortunate. 
That's a 10% chance to resist. And he still resisted it. Another abomination. But Cleanse it is what it is. Lands. Until our chances go up, we're going to have a hard time with that. We really are. Hit you, and that's that's a nice big hit there. Nice chunky hit. Of course, the bleeds, we're not going to really be getting off all that much. Let's go for the kill here. Um, and then heal on you. We do need quite a bit more healing across the board. Hits for seven like that are just problematic. Clear a body out the way. There's a nice chunky hit as well. It'd be nice if we can get a stun off on this guy. I was going to say before he attacks again. But the dodge is really nice. That dodge up front. Really good. Uh, I'm going to try and, and go for another heal here. If I can get it. I think I'm just going to go for a party heal. Unfortunately it's only one across the board. It's not really what we're looking for. And he dodges. Don't get another turn. Thank you. Lovely. And that gives us a bit of stress to heal as well. And then we can go over here. And I believe this is mainly a normal heal, but it's also a decent stress heal. Yeah, 20. I thought it was 30, but that's the other curia. That's not too bad. Uh, honestly, why not check up here? Because it's curios. The only thing we're going to take is maybe some hallway stress. There might be a curio here. We did get a food check, but we've got plenty of food to go at. Um, I want to keep one holy water for a little bit later here. Oh, that was very worthwhile. And Kleptomaniac. Unfortunately, the inspiration from Strange Places, the artistic plus the Kleptomaniac, that's going to cause us some real issues. We're going to be losing a lot of loot to that. Um, but we managed to get those sapphires there. That's pretty good. I'm hoping we come away from this with another 10 grand or so, considering it's a medium mission. But we shall see. Um, right, so we've got a fight right here. We could eat a little bit of food here, just to top everyone off. Want to be at intervals of four foods, so I'll give you one more. There you go. Right. Okay, this is actually a pretty basic bit of combat here, and we get the surprise as well. That is fantastic. Things are going really well so far. As I said, the dodges and misses are going to be sort of coming in hot. Uh, technically, we could get an insta-kill on both if we get eight here, or we could miss both. <laughs> Lovely. There's that stun. Nice, nice. We can get an insta-kill here Another as well. Lovely. Falls. That's what we like to see. Bump in the night. Very low damage. Shouldn't matter too much. That's good damage as well. This guy has some really brutal attacks, so we got to be careful. As you can see, bleed amount um, versus marked is insane. Let's go for some real heals now. Thank you, Titania. I'm going to have to check their names every now and again to remember them, but there's another miss, of course. And another miss. As I said, that's just going to happen. That's just... It is what it is at the moment. The bleed amount here is going to be high, so let's not bleed. We resisted it. Oh, no, that wasn't even one that would, would apply bleed. Right. Yeah, lovely. Lost a bit more health than I'd like there, but overall that wasn't so bad. We'll probably camp maybe here. We can go for a key here. Nice. Getting some more crests. That's lovely. Battle straight in here. I think we're about ready for it though. Again, another easy battle. These, these battles where they only have three enemies, all of these are significantly easier than if there were four enemies, of course. Uh, we always want to look out for those. I, want, I always want to be stunning this guy. Even though it's a waste of a heal, the potential of um, how much damage that guy could put out, it's better to just get rid of him. There you go. Chaos is just taking things out like a boss. Look at this hulking mess. Just such a cool class. Oh, that dodge. And of course, he gets shackles, which is a stun, I believe. It's not a stun, but it did pull him to the front, which isn't that bad. Destroyed. 13, lovely. Pulling him to the front isn't that bad. He does have attacks that work up front. Oh, that was beautiful. Three on everyone and six on the on ourselves. That was a, that was a poor move. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, there you go. <laughs> it worked out. It worked out just fine. Right, so. Chaos here, you're going to have to really, really pummel this guy. I'm liking the stress healing that we're getting here. 
That's horrible. No stun, no stun, no stun. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, good damage. Push them back one. Ah, oh, ha, ha, the crit heals that are coming in right now are very important. And that should finish it out. But yeah, you can see there how enemies being able to move your party can really mess things up for you. Uh, we'll get rid of the bandage. Can really, really cause a lot of issues. Lovely. Uh, we'll get rid of the anti-venom for that. I think we're still good to carry on adventuring right now. The only thing that's worrying is this this boy's stress, Cassius' stress. Uh, Chaos. Chaos? Cassius? Chaos. It's Chaos, definitely. Um, his is definitely a little rough. Oh, come on. Okay, thank God it was empty. Uh, I'm hoping we get some crits with this guy. The, the, the plus 3% extra to crits is really nice. Oh, by the way, some things just to mention. These guys do something called barking, where essentially they'll just, like, say something and, like, a little speech bubble will come up. Um, I've actually got a mod that adds, like, literally thousands and thousands and thousands of new ones of those. Um, so, if people want to use those for their character development based on what their character says, then feel free. This, ba this thing, by the way, the, uh, the Observer, this, what it's going to do is it's going to buff all the other enemies, as you can see here, but... The worst thing it's going to do, but it's, it's not going to do it anymore, is it'll just leave the battle after a certain amount of turns and one of your characters will become observed. And characters that are observed, um, they they can come across more of those sort of beasts. And they really can be very problematic. So they have to be, they have to be something that's taken care of fairly swiftly. It's good there. Love that. Please, no. Why are you always going for my boy, Chaos? I know he's a hulking... I think it's just because he's he's such he's such a large and, like, formidable foe that the enemies just see him first and strike at him first. I think that's, I think that's genuinely it. He just... He is a hulking mass that, that stands affront everyone else. And so he is the first to, to take the, uh, take the hit. That seems to be the case, honestly. Because every single round, we're get he's getting attacked first, pretty much. There's another good win. We definitely want to carry some more cash, if we can, because that will come across more of that. I really don't want to throw away holy water, I'll be honest. Um, medical herbs are really good, too. This is tricky. Uh, I'm get I'll throw away the citrine, because we're likely to get more money than we have citrine. Uh, but I'll, I'll probably end up regretting that because I'll find more citrine soon. Oh, there's our first trap hit. That, that's a lot of damage. Find no clemency in this place. Don't do that. Ooh. Okay. You quirked then. What 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 did you do? Okay. I think he removed a negative quirk there. Unfortunately, it wasn't one of the ones we cared about. But them books are dangerous. They can cause some real nasty stuff sometimes. Do you have another battle here? I was really hoping we wouldn't get another battle. Take out this guy first. I'm going to let the, the bat rest for now. Thank God we dodged that. Oh, honestly, Titania, you are just the best. I knew we needed a Vestal, but my God, you are redeeming yourself. That, that, that child... The unfortunate one that was lost. He is being avenged. Do not worry. We need to kill this guy next round. You buffed yourself up. That's that's a lot of speed. There you go. We got the observed. The observer gone. That's the most important thing here. Bleed? Yeah, bleed. And extra stress as well. And a miss. Oh, the, all three of those was really bad. The Awakening is actually pretty bad because it stresses out, has a chance to stress out everyone. A momentary Crit, critted on the wrong person, but I'm not going to say it's bad. Oh, another miss. Another miss. Managing our stress on this guy. I'm fairly sure... So, when when we hit 100 stress, that we haven't seen that yet, but when we hit 100 stress... um. The way that that works is that um, 
try and take it out. The way that works is that we will then become either afflicted or virtuous with a 75% chance for an affliction and a 25% chance for a virtue. But obviously afflicted being bad, virtue being good. Unfortunately, some characters, due to their nature, cannot virtue. And I believe this is one of them. Oh, really? A one heal across the board? I believe this is one of the characters that unfortunately cannot virtue. Thank you for that. So, that is actually the end of our quest, but we can continue adventuring and rest up to do some stress healing here. Try and bring our, bring our guy's stress down a little bit. So I think first thing we want to do here is reduce this guy's stress as much as possible. Um... And I think we'll do Prevent Knight of Ambush. And then what else can we fit in? Extra accuracy and dodge for this guy seems incredible. Um, although, honestly, removing another 15 stress, I need to go for that. And there you go. Okay. Radiance, may we find oh, we didn't, we didn't read the diary entries. I apologize. Let's get to those now before we set off again. I apologize. So we have two diary entries here. One from our Crusader by Blank Gaming. Uh, this is from Ronald. I was surprised by the clumsiness of those brigands. Even some who turned a blind eye could have defeated them without a sweat. Those skeletons and cultists weren't much different, but one did manage to maim me kind of badly, which caused a bit of bleeding. Rose, the arbalist of our group, was insistent on patching me up herself, but I insisted back that I know what I'm doing and patched myself up. If the crusader armor I was given was any hint, whatever is wrong with me... Uh, wrong with me. Whatever is wrong with me is wrong with my entire body. Not something you want to be pub uh, to be public news. So soon after arriving in the estate. However, I'm still very excited about my future endeavors. I'm starting to feel more comfortable in my skin than I've ever been. That's awesome. Really like to hear that. And then Arashad, our uh, occultist um, from Rockerin. Another wave of weariness floods uh, as another yawn escapes. Years of meditation, yet always a wandering mind. The mind wanders to the excursion with the strangers he met just a few days ago. How they had easily pushed through the dead. Dismiss the bandit with a keen iron aim. Renald, the warrior of the light. The iron holy destroyer. And Rose, the aid rendering sure shot scout. What was odd is that the judgment that he ex expected was uh, expected was odd com comradery instead. Perhaps there is truth in misery loving company. Amazing. Love all these diary entries. It's really, really good stuff. Uh, one moment. Okay, now we can carry on our adventure. This here is going to give us a buff for the rest of this dungeon. So I think that we take it. We need to be very careful about any more food checks because we only have four food remaining. But I'm going to take it as this guy because getting plus 10 dodge and plus 15 prot until camp, considering how much he's getting focused, is going to be so nice. That scouting chance is lovely. We won't go here because we don't need another battle. We'll see how our team looks, actually. We might want to go back and, and try that out. But here, we just want to be trying to get as much as we can. We get scouting here. And then a bunch of curios. Good. Didn't need any of our shovels, surprisingly, which is very rare. Found that. And hopefully we get to actually loot these things without than being stolen by one of these fellas. You never really know. I can also snuff out the light here to gain a little bit more loot if I'd like to. Um, so maybe I'll do that. Shift, control, and click. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Basically, that just means that we Black potentially get more loot. It's not guaranteed. It's just a potential for more loot. And considering there's one more curio here. Ooh. What is this? The match is I don't know what this is. The blazing star is born. One moment. I'm going to check what this is. Okay, so apparently this is a mini boss mod um, called Nerub, and it's got some rats down there. Uh, but apparently the actual boss itself can only show up in certain levels of dungeons. This early it can't show up, so... I'm going to give it a go, and if things go awry, we're going to back out. But we can fight some of these rat guys and see how we fare. 
So these guys don't seem to have a ton of HP. I had literally no idea what they do, and holy shit, Dismas! That is fantastic bonus speed as well. Um, let's try and stun you. I don't know what some of these do, so I'm a little scared. But that dodge, plus prop coming in handy already. Oh, another dodge there as well, okay. So far, this is going well. We have a kill and no damage taken. There's a little bit. And that is the stress coming in as well. Hopefully, we don't get too much stress here. It seems that these guys want to move us around. We did, we did just resist some move there. But also, these guys can be bled. Oh, no. Chaos, come on. You need to be hitting that. You need to be hitting that. Minus max HP. A 7 damage on you. This is rather interesting, though. That's, that stress is going to build and cause us issues, isn't it? The heals need to be really on point at the moment, and we need to be hitting our attacks. If we miss our attacks, things would go really bad. Oh, you healed up. Oh, you leveled up. I see. Interesting. That move resist. Oh, God. If, that, if they move one of us. No! Chaos! You need to be hitting this. This is so imperative to our survival at this point. I th I'm just going to, like, in, in, in the lore of the character's backstory, say that the reason he misses so much is just because he's always drunk. Oh, God. This is getting scary. Dude, Chaos, you need to hit something just once, please. You need to hit something just once. This could go so poorly so fast if you don't kill something. Oh my god. One of them's dead. Oh no! Oh, that's beautiful crit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The beautiful crit. I'm scared of this grab attack. I'm so glad we're dodging these. Yes. I realize they have high dodge, but please. Please, for the love of God, hit something. This thing's leveling up again. It's got two actions now. Thanks for the dodge. I'm gonna use a holy water here to give myself some bonuses and some buffs. I could also mark myself and give myself prop, but I don't really want to do that. Thank you. Thank God Renault's hitting. We do have a death's door check here. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. We should be fine. We should be get a heal here. Thank God that you resisted that. Oh, the dodge. And that's mob lead. Okay, that's our first death's door. You, if you, if you miss one more time. Chaos! Chaos! Please! And now the truth this fight could have been over so long ago. I, I'm st I know Renault's in a, in a bad position here, but I'm sticking with this and it, I'm really scared. I could just leave. Don't you dare, thank you. Thank you. That finally hit. Thank you, the move resist. The move resist was there. Oh my god. You bastard. You better hit. Dude! Dude! Chaos! Perched at the very oh no. It, oblivion. We gotta retreat. We gotta retreat. We gotta retreat. We're out of here. A wise We're out of here. Losses and regroups. <sighs> Chaos. Room, Chaos. Hole, we reclaim what is ours. Oh my god. How did you miss that many times in a row? My god, you drunk no fool. Years may seek to separate them. You drunk fool. Will invariably oh my goodness. Right. First of all, blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. You, my good sir, need no a mistake. drink. Oh, you're in the bar. Ever greater threats. 
Our soldiers must be ready. He's gonna have to go to the brothel then. This is not his sort of adventure, not his sort of thing, but... You can pray to a higher power. And you can... Have peace through meditation. <sighs> How could you do this to us? One moment. Right, we got our first affliction, and that yeah, that that it, it didn't go poorly. I'll be honest, but goddamn, that didn't go great. So now we can take on a few more classes. We're gonna take on the. Arsonist An engineer and of the, the all consuming power of fire and feats of unhinged cunning. Do we want to take on anyone else first? Um, we could take on an abomination as well, potentially. I'm not entirely sure if we want to do that yet, though. So, who have we got to go out with next time? We don't really have a front runner, but he isn't really a front runner either, so he's not really a great class for us to pick up here. Uh, I am going to do a few things here and go for some upgrades. We want to get um, that, and we want to get that, and that, sword. and then we want to come here, Anything and we want to get this, life. Uh, which we can do some trading to get. Good. Great allows heroes be found even here. of resolve one to sometimes appear nice level one heroes come with all their skills unlocked already and their gear upgraded to level two so that's very important for us so now let's take a little look at what we want to do here so let's have a little look see okay so we'll definitely upgrade that and that the other ones we can leave for now. I do really like the suppressing fire here, but it's a little bit pricey for us right now. And then, unfortunately, people that are in um, in healing, you can't level up yet, so that's not a big deal right now. Um, you, I, I want to definitely upgrade that and then that. The mark is pretty good as well. well. We'll upgrade that too. I just don't want to spend all my money yet. And then we will go and upgrade all three of you guys' gear and make sure you're looking good. And then the other guys, when they get out of their stress relief activities, they can they can come join the group. It's really unfortunate we didn't manage to kill those rats there. They really weren't that hard at all. It's literally the uh, chaos here didn't didn't do anything. He literally didn't help a single ounce. He did literally nothing, so he wasted all of his turns. And he's the one that we had to leave for, because he was at death's door, and I, I wasn't confident I could heal him up and run old. So, unfortunately, his drink just... He, he couldn't handle it. He couldn't handle his drink, and uh, he, he really did... Uh, he did a... He did a <laughs> Kind of messed us up there. But you see when he's afflicted, he loses a lot of accuracy, even more than he already has negative to himself, but he gets a massive bonus to damage. So he gets kind of a big boost when he's afflicted. But there's that, at least. Um, I would I would like to treat um, Dismas, but we haven't unlocked that yet. Uh, let's take a little bit of a look at what we have up next available to us. So, extra crit extra stress healing extra stress healing received on a crit that's actually really nice and then also here we've got the exterminator 20 percent chance if food in inventory to get scouting that's really good and 10 percent trap disarm that's also really really good um we've got the privateers here we've got a first courtyard battle but courtyard we want to leave for a little while to be honest same with the um the farmstead these are ones that we want to kind of not really jump into too quickly because they could be very very dangerous for us uh, but once we start getting our nomad wagon and other things unlocked we can start doing that um we just take a little look how far am i off grabbing that 
basically the more the more people we bring in each week the higher chance we got of getting level ones so i am tempted to to go for this um let's go this is a bit of a an odd trade so go up there and then portrait into wait a minute no 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 there you go more arrive, there you go. foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain and then the on our next mission we can go the thing is we don't really have a front runner is the problem like so we've got i, I guess we could use dismas as a front runner um dismas let's just unlock duelist advance for you and point blank and then Should we grab open vein level two as well? Nah, we'll leave that for now. And then let's just reorganize this. Let's go with duelist advance, pistol, uh, then this one, and then pistol shot, and then grape shot. Um, and now he can be more of a front runner because he can duelist advance into the front. So let, let's just let's just for example see how this would work in the next in the next mission here. So we could take our mender here for uh, healing, who's a really decent healer to be honest. So we can throw her back here. We could go Rose here uh, for a little bit extra healing as well as the sniper shot. Um, then we could go you here and you here. So you've got such high speed that you should go first and then stab through with Duelist Advance into position one. Then you get thrown into position two and you can start lobbing Molotovs. Also, you've got... Oh, that's amazing. 66% horror duration received... Other heroes don't find comfort in your presence. And 20% stress while marked. Um, I like this one the best. Uh, and then, so, like, let's see what else do we have going on here. We have smoke bomb, cleansing fire. Cleansing fire is decent. Cure bleed and, and blight and, and add to resists. We've got hot head here, which is ranged and forward to... That's pretty good because we can activate that from anywhere. So I think we should use that most times incinerate's good but we do take damage ourselves. it will clear corpses though and then we probably want to be sticking with the perker and the molotov and i think that's probably going to be our group for the next mission um right there so we'll we'll, we'll work with that and see what we can do uh by the way in terms of what we'll do in, in for missions if we've got a short mission we'll try and do two short missions in an episode if it's a medium we'll stick to one medium obviously long we'll stick to one long so this episode's a little bit shorter than it would have been otherwise because the medium mission went pretty quickly um but we tried something new it didn't work but we tried it i think um we had a very good shot at beating those rats i didn't know how they worked in terms of them evolving over time i think if i'd have known that it, we'd have worked with that a bit differently i also think if we'd have known that was coming we could have camped uh, and given ourselves that accuracy bonus so that would have been really really nice but we didn't know so there you go either way i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one